Retro Rob plays everything. Hey Rob, here it's time for another plug and play. Mmm, 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 there. Mmm, yeah. Plug and play. <laughs> this is the Golden T 2007 Home Edition by Radica. Now, if you know Radica, you know they're really hit or miss. And I have been sitting on this guy just forever uh, because I really didn't think I'd like it that much. But come to find out, it's actually pretty good, and I'll show you that. Uh, so anyway, there's not a whole lot of information, believe it or not, out on this and what the guts are of it. It does not match the arcade version if you played it, or at least not the modern arcade version, which is a pretty neat little thing. I saw it in a bar uh, one night. But uh, it is fun in its own right. So let's start with construction quality, which is one of the high points of this. This is made out of some pretty darn decent plastic. In fact, it's been a long time since I felt something with the construction quality of this. By the way, there is a new version of this that just came out in 2017. This is not that edition. Uh, the buttons, they're not arcade quality, but they're built out of quality plastics and they feel okay. I mean, they don't, you know, you wouldn't want to use it on a shooter. But for what it does, it does it really well. The other thing is the uh, roller is really quite nice. The trackball is slightly oversized from the trackballs I'm used to playing with. I play with a lot of the old Atari trackballs and they were really, really tiny. I'm really, really pale. I'm not really this pale. Uh, but I had to set up the lighting really quick, so it's not quite right. But anyway, uh, I like the graphics on it. Quite nice. It takes, oh man, it takes a million uh, AAA batteries. It takes six. Wait, no, eight. Wait, yeah, eight. Eight? Yes, eight freaking batteries. It is ridiculous. It is redonkulous. That is just silly. But anyway, it takes triple A's, which is kind of weird. Anyway, uh, front of the device, as I have shown you, on-off switch has a nice little indicator. The sides, uh, the back is very interesting as well. As you can see, it's got these nice grips so that you can hold it in your hand. Not that you would play it that way. You kind of play it in your lap, but still, you know, nice little touch. It also has, oops, sorry about that. It also has an adapter. If you would like, it didn't come with an adapter. You try and play with a million freaking batteries. Standard six volt though, so it's not something that's gonna really, oh, my shirt. It's not something that's really going to uh, put you out to fine. Well, I suppose uh, we should just go ahead and play it. All right, so here we go. It's Golden Tea Home Edition by Anyway, uh, there are several modes. I'm gonna show you just play around. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do a couple uh, holes to show you the graphics and roughly the gameplay. Uh, the, uh, the game does allow one to four players and the four players just basically pass the puck around. It's got a nice long cable. Of course, it's got RCA adapters, so you know it can hook into most TVs. Uh, I, I had somebody comment, uh, why the heck do they do RCA jacks still when so many people have digital televisions like almost everybody? And I think it's just because it works about anywhere and it's really easy to work with. Yeah, I'd argue that HDMI is easier, but the pins do break sometimes. So uh, plugging and unplugging it all the time can be a problem. That said, I mean, it's not too bad. If they if they would have put a regular HDMI, it probably, been all, probably would have been all right. But if they did like a micro, those do break. All right, so anyway, uh, you use the roller to go up and down. I'm just going to play around here. Hit the select, the little red select button to start. And, of course, how many players? We're going to just choose one. And uh, there are some things. You can move your site left and right. So you can see I'm aiming in a different area. Sometimes that is actually beneficial. It automatically picks the uh, club for you, however, if you... Go right and left with the trackball. You can see I can change clubs. And then uh, you just hit select and start to take your swing. Actually, I think you just pull back. Sorry about that. <laughs> Why am I saying that? All right, ready? I'm gonna I'm gonna back swing just just a little. I wish. Wait, maybe I could hold it up. It's not gonna be a good swing, but I pull back a little and then go. And then off it goes. It actually wasn't too bad of a swing. 
not too bad. Okay, so 225. Uh, it's at 223 yards, so I should be able to do a full swing and get away with it. Now, if I was swinging short, I could use a different club. And that's one of the reasons why they allow you to change clubs. That and it gives you something to do, I suppose. All right. Bad backswing. All right, see, I... Ooh, that sucks. This is going to be a bogey. All right, so 80... Pins at 70. I mean, honestly, I'm bad at it, but the controls really aren't that bad. They've got quite a bit of finesse. Here we go. Par! Heck yeah! And continue. Go! I think we'll just play to the uh, third hole. And go! Oh, come on. Oh, in the rough. That's not good. All right, so 54 and the pin's at 49. Uh, I'm going to lose a little bit because it's in the rough, but it did okay. Could have been better. Could have been worse. Nice. Par again. Who is the shizzle in the mizzle? Ooh, 40 year olds should not say that. All right, one more, cause this is a little bit harder one. There we go. Should I try and uh, get it? Man, 275 holds it. Uh, I'm going to try it. And I screwed it. Oh, that's going to cost me. Yeah, generally, I just don't take that risk. I, I'm going to end up throwing something here. All right, let's just get it up. We'll just get it out of here. There. About 180. Oh, come on. Son of a... See, now, attempted fate. Look, oh, come on! <laughs> See, I was talking crap, and that's what I get. This. There we go. Oh, God. I spent the entire time in the rough. All right, there we go. Oh, that's terrible. Was that a quadruple bogey? A plus four? Cripes. Anyway, so that is it. This is Golden Tea Home Edition, the 2007 model. There's a new 2017 model uh, that I hear is pretty good as well. Uh, I'll try and get my hands on it and do a review on it because this one's actually not too bad. I'm going to keep it. I thought I was just going to go sell this sucker on eBay because they, they go for around 10 bucks on eBay, you know, 15 bucks delivered. And I think they're probably worth it. Not bad. And if you get it at a thrift shop for five bucks, you have really got yourself a deal because this is one of the better plug and plays I've actually played. Not bad. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. Give me that big old thumbs up. Subscribe for more and I will see you in two days with probably something unusual because I'm going to the Midwest Gaming Classic like moments from now. Bye. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos